1974 automatic Westphalia hardtop weekender. Looks like it had come from Colorado originally. Last registered in 89. And I think it's set since 89. Everything is here. All original. All the goodies are in the motor. It does turn over. I already checked that. Has some surface rust spots throughout. So pretty bad, but fixable. The bus is very straight and restorable. Original white color. Gutters, nothing's rusted through. This is uh, the worst of it, where it's very pitted and the gutters right here from having tree junk sit on it. Um, the battery tray rotted out from having uh, stuff fall down the vent. We move around. It's very, very straight. There's nothing that's rusted through. Once again, surface rust. Everything here, even the lip so far, from what I can tell, without taking out the front windshield, the front lip doesn't have any rot through areas which I was actually surprised so far. Taking the window out is a whole other story. All the little spots on the front have blistered, sitting for 21 years. Front bumper is absolutely mint and straight. It's crazy straight. So is the back bumper too. There's not a ding on this thing that I can find yet. I was told it was an old folks that owned it prior to uh, John Whipple, who I bought it from. Right up here, which loose are tight, although the knob is broke. Was fill your drain, was fill your hookup. Tires all inflated, we rolled it right on out. Nothing was locked, the drums were not locked, nothing. Great part about this bus if you're not jealous yet, is the inside. It's like a time machine. It's crazy in here. Spent the day cleaning it. There is fading of the material here and there, but it is 100% here, original and correct. No rot, no nothing, no rust. Applied WD-40 and everything works. Clean the carpet is original carpet, original upholstery. The curtains weren't original. We already cut those out because they were just absolutely nasty rot. That's the last one that's left right there. Cool stuff like uh, pump works. And all I do is plug a battery in. It's ready to go. Looks like there's never even been any water in it, ever. Latches work. There's a couple of them that are broke, but uh, they all work for the most part. I took this off because we have to replace the hinges for over here on this guy. One of the hinges broke. Table works 100%. Kind of threw up the uh, front curtain. The original front curtain was all that's left of the original curtains. But uh, the whole front dash. Door panels are awesome, sweet. The whole front dash is immaculate after being armor rolled and cleaned up. Not a crack in it. Did have some leakage here in the front. That'll be uh, taken care of when I pop the windshield out, put new rubber in. Original carpet on the inside that's the worst of it is up here in the front. I'm going to cover that with rubber mat. It's got the centerpiece fade mark right there. Original upholstery. Original door cards, original column, and last but not least, the original key. Woo. There it is, 1974 Weekender. Gonna do a mild rest down and see what we got. Motor and uh, brakes are next.